First John chapter five, verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Halal Lai Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is the book of 1 John, the fifth chapter. And uh, I don't have a title for this lesson. But uh, the Lord, hear the prayers of the righteous. All right, as I read uh, 1 John 5 and 14, it says, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Now, what's according to the Lord's will? All right, according to the Lord's will is asking the Lord for spiritual things, things that pertain to uh prophecies all right things that will benefit you in this truth all right to grow okay you know of course the lord knows we need the the uh bread and water but more importantly we need the word you know and once you've been rooted in the truth and you know your mind is no longer yours is of the most high your thoughts you know, your, your things that you ask for will be things that are spiritual. You know, now, of course, we need carnal things. The Lord knows that. But according to the Lord's will, we'll be walking in his stead, following his footsteps. All right. And it says in that and this is the confidence that we have in him and we have confidence. And uh, throughout the years that brothers been in the truth, you know, brothers, you know, have, um, uh, what you call it, testimonies, you know, in ways where the Lord, you know, came through, all right, came through for the brethren and helped brothers in the time of need. I sure have my own, all right, and I'm pretty sure all, all brothers in this truth have their own testimonies that brought them cl even more closer to the Lord to give them more of that confidence, all right, and that's why you don't, that's why, um, uh, these scoffers, you know, they can't really uh, break through because it's the Lord's spirit. All right. You can't gang say against this truth. You know, the Lord do marvelous things, wondrous works, you know. So it says First uh, John 5 and 14, once again, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. All right. So the Lord heareth us. Now, I should have read into it, but I'm going to come back to this. Let's move on to another precept that I have here, which is, uh, let's go down to 1 Peter, 1 Peter's, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12, all right? It says, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So you should understand that the Lord, he only hears the prayers of the righteous. All right. It says his ears are open unto their prayers. Because you got two thirds today, Jake. First off, they call upon the length, the name of the Lord. You know, in a false name, you know, and they believe the most high, you know, rich is the blame of these false prophets. OK, these pastors and preachers in the government church, you know, they use the most high as a money scam. And uh, Jake, you know, you know, going to these churches, they learn over the years, you know, it's nothing but a scam. You know, should they really believe in the most high, you know, spiritually they do. They can't help that. But. When it comes to the knowledge and understanding, they don't have. All right. And that's why the Lord written in Jeremiah 315, he said, I will give you pa uh, passes according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right. Because the most high is not all about uh, money, you know, or whatever you can just get from them. 
you know, you got to do something in return. You know, the Lord told us to give our bodies as a living sacrifice. You know, first and foremost, we have to learn our inheritance and learn who we are as a people and obey the Lord's commandments. All right. To the best of our ability, you know, rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, acknowledging the holy days, which he set up, remembering our history. OK. So it says for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. And he and the and his ears are open until their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So those that do evil, the Lord is against them. All right. Now, you know, that's why it's a good thing to, you know, be in good graces with the Lord, fearing the Lord so that the Lord face don't be against you. All right. Doing the, the scriptures say do no evil and no evil uh, shall come upon you. Roughly paraphrasing. I believe that's in the Apocrypha. All right. So anyway, verse 13, it says, and who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? All right. Because at the end of the day, all right, our Heavenly Father and our Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, watches over us. You know, there's always a hedge over the Lord's men. You know, if you do right, why would the Lord have to stricken you? You know, well, the Lord can stricken you for reasons. You know, maybe you sinned in your past. Maybe it's a certain direction and way, path he wants you to go down. But we take everything cheerfully, all right? And when you do being uh, stricken, you know, chastised. Is is for is for it's for the better of you, okay? Because the most high is purifying you. All right. We all have to go through a purification. And right now we're coming to that ultimate purification, which is being tried through that fire. All right. The hours of temptations is coming. And if you up the elect, the Lord said in Revelations 3 and 10, he will keep you from the hours of temptation. You know? So it says, but if uh, and it, it says, and who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? But, and if ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. All right. So we're not supposed to be shooken with fear and, and affright of, all right. We're supposed to have confidence and faith, hope, trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, happy are ye, meaning happy are you. All right. Because you're the one that have the knowledge and understanding. OK. And the wisdom of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So happy are you. It says, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. You know, Esau's coming with terror. You know, he, he's he's the real terrorist. But the scripture speaking, Job, that he's going to meet the king of terror. So the real, the king of terrorists is the most high in Yahweh Shai. All right. So he's going to have to meet the king. All right. When he go to start uh, touching the Lord's anointed, you know, uh, locking brothers up, you know, and forcing, you know, his, his chip, his mark upon the people here in the world and especially upon the Israelites. So it says, neither be troubled. It says, verse 15, but sanctify the Lord Yahweh in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks of you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. All right. So from here, let's get another scripture, another precept. This is uh, Psalms 34, 17. It says, uh, let's start at, let's start at 14, Psalms 34, 14. It says, depart from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. So those, those are the key ingredients. All right. Of having a, a long life, you know, straight to the point. Those are key ingredients of having a long, a long life, man. All right, a peaceful life in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, depart from evil, meaning repent, and do good. What is doing good? Following the ways of the Lord. Seek peace. All right, be peaceable with all men if you can. And it says, and pursue it, meaning chase after that. All right, chase after that. 
and everything else will come. It will follow in, follow through. Verse 15, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. So he's saying the same thing. All right. The eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the righteous. So the Lord is watching the righteous every day, you know, and that's what we strive and hope to be, being the hopeful elect. So if we have the hopeful elect, just know that the Lord is watching you every day. His eyes are upon you. Everything that we do, little short pistol shows, when we out camping, when brothers meeting up, when brothers off cameras gathered, you know, getting a bite to eat or whatever the case is, the Lord is always watching, seeing what you're doing. It says that his ears are open unto their cry. So you better believe that when the Lord's righteous men, you know, are going through it, the Lord already knows it's going down. And when they make that cry, the Lord answer. You know, it's like sounding an alarm. When the righteous man cries to the Lord, it's like a, it's like sounding an alarm. And the Lord immediately hears it and attends to it. All right. Verse 16. The face of the Lord Yahweh is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. And ultimately, that's going to be Esau. All right. Because they are the ones that do evil. All right. And the Lord's going to cut them, cut them off the remembrance of them from the earth. You know, as it's written in Job, they're going to be chased out of the world as they once was before. You know, when they got pushed up into those mountains, those Caucasus mountains. All right. And, and Russia. Again, they're going to be no more remembrance of them. Well, let me say they're going to be chased out of the world. And then it's going to be no more remembrance of them from the earth. So the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth, meaning your lifespan get cut short. You know, that starts with Esau, but that's going all the way down to the two thirds of you Israelites. You know, just recently, um, brothers, uh, one brother, I don't know the brother name, kind of saw the post and I shared it. You know, I thought there was a. Uh, you know, by reading that post, I thought, you know, this this particular guy on, uh, I believe he was on Facebook or something like that, where he, uh, you know, was saying um, that he will rape a woman and he from GMS. He just, you know, I thought it was an agent at first, but then when brothers uh, dug into it and I, and I think that brother spoke up, you had um, you had uh, uh, this other group of Israelites slandering him, you know, just you just made a fake page of him and. Because they got cut, you know, and then they made a fake page of that guy, the brother, whatever, you know, and um, and put his picture on there and then started to use his name, trying to slander his name. You know, that's great evil, man. That's that's fucking wicked, man. You know, how can you call yourself an Israelite and because you got cut in the scriptures and you can't come back with scripture, you know, you supposed to repent. You know, if you got cut, so what? It was for your good. Now you can teach others to do well after you know when you went off. But instead, you want revenge. You go and make a fake, you know, post, fake page of the brother, picture, and, and then you try to slander Great Millstone, which I, I don't know if that brother even is a part of Great Millstone. If I'm not mistaken, I believe he's just a follower. You know, he, he he's a follower of Great Millstone, but I don't know if he's in the, the actual body of Great Millstone. You know, but he is spiritually, all right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shah, neither here nor there. You know, that, but the point is, that's just straight wicked as hell, man. And that shows you that you two thirds of you Israelites, you're going to get dealt with. It says, the face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. So when the righteous cry, remember, Yahweh heareth. You know, these are things you don't forget. It may seem like we by ourselves. It may seem like the Most High is invisible. But the Lord is not. He's actually here. You know, he's right in your face until he wiped that salve off the, uh, you know, that I don't know what the fuck they call it. The salve on the eye, whatever. You know, he uh, opened your eyes to see the angels. Man, you may bug out, you know, or you re might rejoice. OK, I'm pretty sure the Lord is going to do marvelous things. All right. Miracles. 
Miracles are going to happen in these latter, these latter end, this latter days. Okay. Spiritual powers, brother's going to be awoken with that power, you know? So, hey, a lot of people may see what they call aborigines, you know, spirits, you know, some may see spirits to die, you know, Akia may see spirits to live, to follow, you know, to refuge. So these things are going to happen. The Lord did say in 2nd Edges 9, he is visiting this earth in which he made. All right. So it says the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. So we're banking on the Lord to deliver us from our troubles. All right. And you better believe that we're in the beginning of Jacob's trouble. All right. But it said uh, he shall be saved out of it. We're going into um, Amos 9 and 8. All right. The Lord said the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All right. So it says, uh, but the he that shall be saved out of it is the elect. So anyway, uh, this is verse 18. The Lord Yahweh is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save such as be of a contrite spirit. You know, and that's the elect. The elect is of a broken heart. All right. And of a contrite spirit. All right. A contrite spirit. Let me see here. Contrite. It says contrite feeling or expressing remorse or penitence affected by guilt a broken and a contrite heart and why is the brothers of a contrite heart because brothers you know seek to seek for repentance shame you know brothers are ashamed of their worldly lives you know feeling or expressing remorse or penitence affected by guilt all right a broken and a contrite heart you know, we cry unto the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, all right, to, to forgive us for what we've done, all right? It says the action of feeling or showing sorrow and regret for having done wrong, repentance, that's penitence, okay? Being of a contrite heart, these are the sincere akim. Let me say, starting with the brothers, the 144,000, you know, and the rest of the one third, we're starting with the men, okay? The action or feeling or showing sorrow or regret for having done wrong, okay? And you can see that, you know, when brothers are out there teaching, you can see it in their spirit, you know? You can see it. Brothers need a healer, all right? You need a healer, man. We need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so let's get back. Hopefully we're still running. All right. Uh, Psalms 34 and 18. The Lord Yahweh is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save such as be of a contrite spirit. All right. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord Yahweh delivereth him out of them all okay so now let's move on to my last precept let's go to uh proverbs 15 and 29 let's see uh the heart of the righteous study of the answer 
uh, start at 28. It says, Proverbs 15, 28. It says, The heart of the righteous studieth to answer, but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. You see? That's why it's important to study, you know, as much as you can and absorb and, and grow in the knowledge of the truth and the doctrine that was given to you by Yahweh Bashim Shai, set up by his teachers, okay? Knowing the truth. So that you can answer them rightly. It says the heart of the righteous study if to answer. And if it's something you don't know, just look it up. You know? Just look it up. You know? It says, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. Alright? Because the mouth of the wicked just, you know, they start to uh, try to wing it. You know, start speaking lies. You know, or some, you know, they may know of the truth, but... They've been told not to teach the truth, all right, because they might have taken the, what we call a Judas purse, all right, a bag, sold out, you know, and they're telling you a bunch of evil things, lies, man, according to the scriptures. Like, for an example, the RFID chip. The RFID chip is the mark of the beast, okay? The mark of the beast is not an embargo or Christianity, all right? That's some bullshit, and today it proves that. You could just... I have to stress it no more, you know, it's, it's in your face. It's coming to your front door, okay? Uh, Proverbs 15, 29, the Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. So the Lord ain't with the wicked, man. He ain't with you Edomites. See, when we say, you know, Esau is working for the most high, that's on the left-hand side, all right? The left-hand side of the Lord is the wicked, the right-hand side is we call it, it's the, it's the righteous, all right, where Yahweh Shai sits on the right-hand side of the Most High, okay? So the Most High controls all spirits. He created the evil angels. And, um, you know, Esau ain't nothing but a demon, an angel, a demon angel, okay, on the wicked side, the left side of the Lord playing his part, all right? And the Most High set him up. He said, uh, Romans 9 and 13 and down, uh, the wicked, uh, what it say, um, Fit it for the dead, fit it for destruction. You know, the Lord made one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. All right, the one, the one unto honor is Jacob. The one unto dishonor is Edom, Esau. So it says, the Lord Yahweh is far from the wicked. All right, the Lord not with America. He's not with the Babylon the Great. He's not with the technology and the ways of Esau and what they plan on doing. He's not with them. All right, he's setting them up. So that the Most High can bring glory to his to his his name, all right. He's setting Esau up on high to bring glory to his name, to his son, and also to his chosen, which is the Israelites, starting with the elect. So you know, give Esau a round of applause, man, for being the the, the sons of the wicked. He did a great job being the wicked. It says the Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. So the Lord hear the prayer of the righteous. That's why it's important to be sincere in this truth. Be brotherly, you know, be honest, you know, um, be charitable. You know, these are the, the ingredients uh, of the elect. If you sincerely believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So I hope this lesson was uh, edifying. I wanted to go over these few pre precepts I had. And uh, hopefully it build upon your faith in the Lord. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word sincerely and truth. Shalom.